Yo what's up guys it's Afrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of Game Hub Windows emulator for Android which is known as Game Hub Antutu version 5022 now recently the normal Game Hub emulator version 5.2.2 was released and today in this video we'll be trying out the Antutu patch version of Game Hub emulator which is going to 100% provide better performance than the normal Game Hub emulator and it is also safer to use so let's start setting it up right away once you are successfully logged in you guys will notice the brand new version of Game Hub Windows simulator where there have been some improvements in terms of performance, bug fixes and stability. Now to start off the UI of GameHub Antutu will be just like the original GameHub Windows emulator for Android. The changes will directly be in terms of performance. Now if you also want to try out GameHub Antutu patch version then it is actually released by a YouTuber known as Maxis Tech Review. You guys can check out his channel. So basically in this GameHub Windows emulator it is published with the package name of Antutu Benchmark which tricks your Android device into thinking that you are running and benchmarking app which lets you utilize the full potential of your android device and even get better performance in games like GTA 5, God of War or any high end title compared to the original normal game hub emulator. Now let's just go ahead and go to PC game settings and apply the best settings. The tablet that I am using in today's video is the OnePlus Pad with MediaTek Dimensity 9000 processor. So I am not even going to use the Snapdragon processor for today's video. I will show you the direct changes in the MediaTek processor itself. So first of all screen resolution I will set it as 800 by 600. Go to compatibility choose the compatibility layer as the Proton ARM 64. Translation parameters should be extreme. So select extreme tap on the confirm button afterwards go back. Everything else you can keep it as default because we are just trying out GTA 5 it's not a big deal VRAM limit will set it to no limit GTA 5 is one of the most stable games so you don't really need to mess with much of the settings but what we'll do is enter container desktop as we want to add the save file for GTA 5 and once you click on it uh, it will automatically start adding the firmware the wine proton version and everything else here we go now that our virtual desktop has been turned on social club which I have copied of the GTA 5 save state and paste it in the C directory program data of the game of windows emulator once that has been done we'll simply exit the container by tapping on the exit button let's go back afterwards simply tap on the game and if you guys have seen my gta 5 mali gpu gameplay test video you guys know exactly how much fps do i get in this emulator on the dimensity 9000 processor of this oneplus pad i get about 15 to 30 fps on a very good day with minimal crowd and also some stuttering issues but with the Antutu version I am pretty sure that I should be getting lots of more FPS so I'll simply swipe back afterwards we'll go to the performance monitoring section native rendering should be turned off disable the frame limit option afterwards everything else you can keep it as default simply enable the full screen mode and there we have it guys our GTA 5 has successfully started and towards the bottom section you guys can see we are getting about 30 FPS 38 39 FPS in the house itself so 39 FPS is actually an improvement but there will still be stuttering issues because the shaders are being compiled it's okay the stuttering issues will be there only once and once that has been done as you guys can see the stuttering issues have gone away so the stuttering issue is actually temporary and here we go once we enter the open world areas you guys can see the performance for yourself we are getting 37 fps which is still actually really 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 impressive compared to the normal game hub emulator that i used to use inside my mali gpu android device we are definitely 100 percent getting more than playable experience because I remember 15 to 30 FPS all the time like 25 26 FPS with lots of stuttering issues but with the help of game hub and to the performance has increased quite a lot now in a much more playable condition so even if you have low-end Android devices with old Snapdragon processors or even Mali GPU Android devices with a MediaTek or Exynos processor all of you guys will be able to notice improvements in performance if you try out the game hub and to version so it is actually recommended to try it out but the downsides might be that you might face thermal throttling like heating issues if you have a flagship android device your android device will get very hot very quickly which will decrease the power that you get over the time but generally with mediatek or the older snapdragon processors you can safely use the antutu version of game of emulator it just doesn't work well with the flagship android devices like 8 gen 3 or even 8 elite etc because they have a lot of power and there is not enough cooling to contain that power anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time Goodbye.